TJ, man, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Well, I'm doing all right, man. I wish I was out there on the, watching you guys uh, play a little bit. Mm -hmm. but, it's fun to, fun to be back, man. I'm glad to be back out here. So how, how many defensive coordinators have you had here in Memphis? Is it three or four? Three. Yeah, it's my third one. It's my third one. What's the challenge like in the all season? Just getting adjusted to the to a new coordinator. You guys got Mac, uh, Mike, Mac, Mike McIntyre this year. Excuse me. So, what's his coaching style been like? And are you just kind of used to kind of switching it up every all season? I mean, uh, main thing is just um, getting together and just learning the terminology because most of it be the same plays and the same schemes and stuff like that. You just it's just different terminology. So once we learn the terminology, then it's it's good from there. Anybody else have a question for other guy? Megan? <laughs> what has Mac been like? I mean, as a coach, what is he uh, like out there as a defense coordinator? Uh, coach Mac, um, real, real, real good coach. Um, has a lot of uh, NFL league experience. Uh, played at a lot of big time schools. Um, good resume. Uh, he's not really a rah rah coach. Not not a lot of yelling and stuff. But um, you can tell he he he's a veteran guy and uh, knows what he's talking about. Uh, we love Coach Mac. Glad to have him on board. Okay, Stephen. I tell you guys, you guys made a, a lot of improvements last year across the board. What's your confidence level in the defense uh, this season? Um, with the defense being uh, more to, more of a veteran group, uh, we got a lot of confidence. Um, whether we get a new D coordinator or not, I mean, we, we know what we can do. Um, we know what it takes to be a good defense, and just working and just trying to block out all the outside stuff, keep tunnel vision, and just focus on uh, the main goal at hand is, is, is what we're doing. Okay, Brian Moss. Hey, TJ, what are your personal goals uh, for this year and uh, goals for the team? What would you like to accomplish? Well, uh, first, I would like to have a season. Uh, that's first off. I mean, it's a lot of if, if and ends about that. But, uh, of course, have a season. Um, get through the season healthy um, and win another conference championship. And hopefully um, – Everything goes well still. Um, everybody have a – we still have a pro day and all that and see some guys get drafted. Uh, Terry Davis. Hey, what's up, TJ? How you doing, sir? Hey, uh, what's your mindset and confidence level going into this season? Uh, mindset is uh, – had always been to be the best corner um, in the nation, the uh, best corner in the conference. Uh, uh, I want to be – a Thorpe finalist, probably one of Thorpe. Um, I got a lot of high expectations for myself. I want to be All-American. And the only way we're going to do that is, I mean, if our team good. If the team good, then the accolades are going to come with it. So my main focus right now is making sure the team, right, making sure we all know our keys, our clues, making sure we are working together, bringing the young guys along because, I mean, we might need them. Uh, somebody get hurt, they're going to have to step up. So um, the main goal is just building that bond with our teammates, bringing them young guys along and just – taking it uh, one day at a time. Okay, uh, Megan Rice, WREG. You mentioned, you know, your first goal is obviously just for you guys to have a season. Um, just with so much uncertainty out there right now, can you feel like when you guys are taking reps, can you sense that there's that uncertainty out there? Are you guys trying to make every single rep almost act like it's your last? Because it, it could potentially be your last. Mm -hmm. uh, we do exactly that. Um, I mean, we go out there and treat every practice, every rep like it's our last, um, especially me because I was injured last year. So I had a lot of time just to sit down and think and, and make you appreciate the game more. So I'm just glad to just be out there just to touch a football, to be around my, my teammates and, and stuff like that. So like I said, we just having fun out here. And if we have a season, we have a season. If we don't, then we don't. We, it's it's kind of out of our control. So. Okay. Brian Moss. Hey, TJ, talk about going against uh, the Memphis wide receivers. Uh, who's the toughest to guard against, and who's the most fun to guard against? Uh, I say, of course, Demonte Coxie, uh, uh, the best wide receiver in our, in our conference, one of the top, top five in the nation to me. Um, but a surprise, uh, uh, another one that's, that's right up there with him, I say, is uh, Calvin Austin. Um, 
he's came a long way since he first uh, stepped on campus. Real, real track speed, elite track speed, and he has great routes. I say, I say the hardest person to guard for me is Calvin, but Monte just a dog. You see what I'm saying? He he, he just do what he do. So. Yeah, y'all missed TJ and Demonte at it today already. Uh, <laughs> hey, Steven? TJ, I kind of want you to uh, self-scout yourself for me. What What are your strengths as a defensive back, and what are the areas you felt like you kind of grown the most over the offseason? Uh, my strengths, definitely press man, man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, I take on your best wide receiver. I follow him all across the field uh, the whole game. And uh, I got a, a, my mindset. Um, not afraid of no competition. I'm not afraid to stick my nose in that hit. I can get in the box. I can do all that. Um, one thing I would say I need to work on is, um, I mean, my off-man coverage because I don't get to do it as much uh, because of the systems, the system that uh, we were in the last couple of years. They just had me a lot of press man. But uh, basically just, I mean, I would say my off-man coverage and just just want to get uh, my, my IQ a little better. I mean, I feel like I'm my football IQ is good, but it can always be, always be better. So.